Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morpha Project, and today uh, we're going to be fixing this bad boy up. So today it's going to be the hardest day, because we actually need to do some copy pasting and then, you know, doing some fixing on this bad boy right here. So that's what we're going to do exactly. And uh, no further ado, uh, let's get started on this bad boy, shall we? So, yeah. Oof. Boop, 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 boop. Has been some time, hasn't it? Well, probably. <laughs> Um, so today I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be doing. Um, first things first, we need to have this bad boy up and running. But now instead of, you know, getting this uh, correctly placed, I need to actually make it sure that I can see it a bit. There you go. And then we're going to add the line. Come on. Work with me, please. Alright, then we need to get the lines up and running, so we need to go for lines, which are here. Well, that's the other line, we actually should go for the other one. Um, no. Where's the other one? Yes, there you go. This one and this one need... Uh, this one and that one. Interesting. So we're gonna do it on this one, probably. No. No, we could. We could. Definitely could. So we're going to do it on this one. And we're going to up uh, from one t one side to the other. So we're going to go upwards and then, you know, at, uh, as we go along, as we hop along, we, we are in giving the, mo uh, the tree a bit of a size. So first things first, we need to get to 6.5. We need to go for pure black. And we do need to make sure that this is a little bit less visible so that we know exactly where to aim. Right there. And then we need to press this one right here. No. This one then. Yes. Uh, right there. Alright. So we're gonna follow this line to perfection. So this one right here needs to be above it, underneath it, probably. Should be. Should be over it. So this part right here is going to be hard to do, but we should be able to manage it. So now we have this, which works. Good. Lovely. And now we need to draw the lines here. So we need to draw lines. Which is true, we need to draw lines here and there, but we also need to draw the, the big lines. So first things first we should do is definitely add some more variety into the into the tree part right now. Because we cannot have, you know, a big tree with no problems. That is a horrible idea. Right now. And what we're doing right now is actually quite easy. Just add the stuff in from the other side and then work our way upwards. Because you can already see where this is going, but we need to make sure that we have this kind of effect on it as well. So, um, I'm going to be switching a little bit so that I can focus more on my own I'm drawing a bit and then we can move on uh, right here like so Moving upwards. 
Now, as you can see, um, the mid section here is a little bit too steep, so we're going to be fixing that a bit. Putting some more lines in there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Bikini Tafan. Mom is uh, gonna be m uh, going to uh, one of her friends. So. They're probably gonna get herself some free cake. Because they have been helping out with, uh, with them. They were helping out uh, getting some. How do you say that? Moving. Stairs? No. Uh, a boardwalk? Probably. Um, hmm. The thing that always moves when you're walking on it. Probably that's called a boardwalk, but uh, yeah, they have been, and they have been, uh, they, they lent their vehicle to uh, get themselves, so, uh, get that boardwalk. Or whatever that is. It's a gym equipment that uh, has like a rubber band that moves downwards and upwards. So it goes in into a circular pattern and you can walk on it. I don't know the word for it. And right now I really don't care about that word. I could visit it. I could find out what it is. But uh, probably next day I would probably forget. So I rather not. I'm trying to concentrate here on uh, getting this piece of uh, big old-fashioned tree up and running. You know, back in my days when we had trees, when I was drawing trees, you know, we had all this problem with it. You know, we had this ugly-looking drawing, and now we're actually getting this improved. Well, at least, you know, that's what we're going to be doing. On the other hand, we're also going to be removing some bits of the original part, and then we're going to put that into as a as a last bit. So therefore, you know, we don't have to deal with this madness too much. Of course, we can just, you know, improvise where we go, but we do need to make sure that we are a bit on the same length as the original one and then you know we're gonna implement some more changes to it some not visual might not be visual changes honestly but more like you know getting the tree a bit more better designed honestly like you have this bit right here and then we could you know implement some more lines in it because the more lines you put into it the better it gets and after that, I actually need to change, uh, after that, after today, today's drawing, I actually need to uh, clean up my room, apparently. Uh, <clears throat> I've been walking with dirty feet, oh well, with dirty shoes on the, on the floor, which is a bit smelly, which I really hate. Uh, so I need to clean it up. Because, you know, you never know if you're having visitors over. But uh, one thing is for sure, I really like uh, how things go. And uh, tomorrow there will be probably fish on the market, probably. I hope so. I actually am. Um, want to buy myself some fish. Well, some shrimp, technically. Shrimp, no, uh, well, not shrimp. How do you say that? Kelps? No. Uh, clams. Probably the word is clams, but uh, it's the tiny ones, the ones that... Uh, um, Seashell. No, no, not seashells. Hmm. Probably. Probably it's going to be called clams. Uh, I don't know how they are called in English. Jeez, I'm terrible. But they're fried. And they are good. You know, they're, they're literally the tiny one, the tiny oysters. The tiny, bo the tiny boys. Which taste delicious. So I'm probably going to call them clams because I have a feeling that they are called clams. So... And uh, my English is not that great up on that part, so I'm I am gonna be you know using my regular language right now. Cheese, mozzarella, mozzarella are great. Tastes delicious, and they're not that expensive, honestly. They're less expensive than fish. Could you imagine that? Less expensive than fish. Woo! That's a thing that uh, 
You don't normally see, boy. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. So I need to add this part right here. Oh wait, I can I can solve this part easier. Jeez. Alright. We're gonna solve this part easy. We're gonna solve this part easy speezy lemon squeezy. We're not gonna be doing anything here. Nope. We're gonna do it the old easy way. First things first, we're gonna make sure that this bad boy is a bit a little bit lit. And then I'm gonna add some more colors to it. What we're going to be doing here is a, a very easy move. I, I like to call it uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy move because holy shit. It's a quite easy move. So, we're going to destroy this part of the bad boys. We're going to remove this bit. We have no longer use of this. This part we no longer need, so therefore we're going to remove it. And then we're gonna keep the other part. So, kabloom. Now this is a thing. Now we also need to make sure that this thing is technically above this part, right? Yeah, but above this, above, above this part. So technically, we should be able to pull this off. Now I need to figure out where to. Put this. So if we put this, we're gonna put this above everything else, which is the thing, right? It's the thing that we need to do. Then we're gonna remove it a bit. Oh. So if we now look at this, well, that works. The only downside is that we need to actually fix this bit right here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. All right. So now we have this. All right. We have now the big tree with all the stuff in it. And we now need to add some more stuff to it as well. So first things first, we need to make sure that this is a bit more... Generous, that is good, 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 good. Now we need to actually fix this part right here. Of course, you know, we cannot fix it all of it, but we can we can implement more lines to it. And then you know add that a bit up upwards and then that should be fine, I believe. We're just making it a little more difficult for the uh, tree to be persisting. We're just adding some bits in there, nuts and crannies there, here and there, to give the feeling of old to the tree. Of course, this is not the smartest move to do, honestly. <laughs> Not in one bit. But it would fix a lot. Which is a, a major issue right now. Also, it saves us a lot of time. And, uh, you know, time is a thing that I cannot lose. It would have been better if I had, like, you know, the whole damn thing, but no. Nah, this would fix it already a bit. Therefore, you know, creating the effect that I want in the first place. Yeah, that's good. Let's leave it there. That's a, that's a good old-fashioned drawing bit. 
now that we have drawn the bits that we need to draw and we have the tree now fully done, we can now continue with the coloring. Jeez Louise. Sometimes it's really hard to do this correctly. Which says a lot about uh, the drawing itself. I forgot, this is the highlight draw, a highlight part. We don't need the highlight part, we actually need the old fashioned med, med part. And we're putting the highlight part on the side, and then we're gonna move towards fixing this bad boy. I knew it. So, uh, this one, no, nope. uh, this one, no, where is it, where is the big boy that I placed, there you go. All right. That's good. And that's good. And now we can start with the process of what we were wanted to do in the first place. So what we're going to do now is going to be adding the coloration to it. And then, you know, we're going to be going downwards, fix that part up as well. And then we're going to go up again and then clean all the house. Clean the whole house. Oh, man. Ooh. My head is not one to do this today. Jeez. And I did already so much. I already did the walking, I already did the talking, and then, you know, still... My head is a little bit stressed out. Oh, well. It happens, you know. Being stressed is a natural thing that can happen. Just need to figure out how to do, or how to fix it. So, um... This whole drawing, it's going to be looking nice once I add all the stuff into it. Right now, we don't have that, but uh, at least, you know, we have already fixed the part that we needed to fix in the first place. So therefore, you know, we have that already fixed. Which means that we have left... Oh, I see a mistake here, didn't I? That's a lot of open space. That's a lot of open space. Jeez, Louise, that's a lot. We need to fix that. We need to fix that. Mm, let's go back to... You see, the main the main problem with this is that, you know, with all the open spaces, the uh, line... the texturing of the lines might cause a little bit of a mayhem. Which we don't want. We actually don't want to have any of this to happen. We just need some casual things and some casual backgrounds. There you go. And now we can continue where we were lefting, le lefting off? No, leaving off. Left off. There you go. That's good. And I'm gonna take my silly ass time for this cheese. Well, there is not a lot of cheese, but there will be cheese. I hope. So yeah. Getting all of this done and then you know once we're done with this we can then you know implement the rest of it. It will make the tree look nice once uh, I add the shading and the uh, additional colors to it. Oh man, that's going to be lovely looking but uh, right now we cannot afford that. Right now we just need to focus on what we're doing and that's just drawing textures. Textures are the base to creating the sample. Therefore, you know, textures are important. I mean, base coloring is also important, but also texturing is important. And right now we're doing the bit. Right now we have already established the baseline the color, and now we're going to be establishing the texture of it. The texture is going to be called wood, because, well, you know, it's wood. 
It's all handily and ma mentally made, but still textured nonetheless. Honestly, you know, I um, I'm quite excited on uh, on this. Hopefully, you know. Uh, hopefully this is gonna be nice and easily done, but uh, let's hope it is. Hmm. Now to complete this. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Got it. And as you can see, big gaps can cause a little bit of an issue sometimes, but... Not all the time, but you don't want to... Technically, you don't want to have all these big gaps. That they, they leave, they can cause major issues while doing your stuff. So therefore, you know, that's why I always try to limit it. Especially in such a thing like a tree. Whew. Texturing can be a pain in the ass. Well, luckily, you know, I'm actually doing quite well. Um, most of the uh, most of the stuff I did right now is all the same, but it should be fine. I mean, all of the uh, stuff I did um, a week ago was actually quite nice. And right now I'm busy drawing again, so, you know, another emotion. And that also works well. I really like it. I really like how far I am at it. And uh, I can't wait for it to be finally produced and then, you know, post it again. Putting the update on. And then, you know, you can see the progress happening. Then, uh, tomorrow I will be trying to do... Well, tomorrow I will be trying to do some work on the writing part of it. Once i done the base colors, yeah. The writing part of it and then I will do... And then, you know, write some bits bits not nuts and crannies and then you know record it as well and then hopefully you know be not stuck on some parts or at least you know that's the idea but first I also figured out when I was head reading that I had to do some editing so gotta be doing that off stage and then you know do the recording about you know the, ter the second part the third part? Yeah, th no, the second part. The second part. The second chapter. Which is all about, you know, new house owners. Because, you know, there are going to be house owners. Oh no, what? House owners? Yeah. Some new house owners. That means, like, you know, when, you, when you're moving in and then, you know, somebody else is also moving in. It's like a gentle surprise. But it's not gentle. And it's not a surprise. It's not fun. Well, it is a surprise, but it's not a very gentle one. Alright. Now we can see if this is actually comprehensible with the other part. Yes, probably. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yes, it would be if I add the colors to it, then it should be fine. All right. Mm. Let's see if we if we add some colors to it, is that it would be fine? Yeah. Let's do it. So what I'm going to be doing right now is uh, add some lighter colors and some darker colors. So first we're going to go for some darker colors. And we're going to add that like with this brush tool right here and we're gonna make it sure that it's like that and we're gonna add the darker tool to the part a bit so we're gonna be adding the darker tool to it we're gonna make sure that this darker tool is around this tree right here a little bit more that one yeah that one and once that is done we can Remove all the bits of it. And then we need to use the blur tool to extend the parts. Mm. 
Alright. Now we also need this darker color to be in precise location, so therefore we should definitely add that in as well in the other part. So how is this, how is this implemented? Well, it's implemented by engraving the glove gloves of Salty Dry. That's horrible. Let's do it again. All right, we want this idea to be the same, so therefore we should definitely have this bug, pick that, and then go here. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, like this. Like this, we need to do it. Alright. And we're doing it like that. Come on. It's a bit tricky. Yep, it is. Alright, it already looks like that. Good. Now if we add a lighter color to this, would that then fix the other part of it as well? Oh yeah, that would work, right? Yeah, it would work, but we need to lower it down a bit. So if we add this now to it, then that would...
Come on. Let me please. Now if we add look transparency to it, would that fix it? Oh yeah, that would fix it. Love it. So if we have this, would that implement that that part right there is already successful? No, it is not. So we technically should add some more light. We should definitely add some more depth to it. Like so. Yes, but we do need to have some more color variation to it. Uh, and that needs to be like 50% that. This needs to be going like this, and that needs to go down. Yep. And then once we have that, we can then add some more to this part as well. Then we need to add this to it. Right. That will fix that, and then we're gonna add the lighter colors to this as well. There you go. Now once we do that, we can now add again a darker color to it.
Moment. Just like that, we are slowly getting shape into that tree part here. Right down. All right. Now we need to add the blur tool again to it, and then that should be finally it. No, I need to go for the soft eraser on this one. Now that we have done that, we can now add some more light to it again. And that's how we do it constantly. We're just adding some bits and not nuts and crannies to the drawing itself. And there you go. Now this will give effect that I want. Yes, it does. Lovely. Now, do I see any difference between that one and that one? Eh, not really that much. It's just that it's a little bit more... Mm. It's too clean, isn't it? It's too light. All right, fine. Well, we're gonna fix that part then. Oh boy, this is not gonna be likely to properly. All right, I'm gonna add some light issue to it. So we're gonna put this onto a second layer. Do I need to redo this then as well? Yep. Oh boy, I do need to do this. Uh, it's gonna be so hard to do. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine tree, fine tree. You win, you win. I try to do the lazy way, but no. The lazy way is not a way out. Damn it. Oh well. Anyway, um, I'm gonna cut it here because you know, I'm. I, it, it has been a long time. Well, it has been already, uh, it's already getting late. But, uh, yeah, the tree is already looking nice. I just need to fix this bit right here and get those tree knuckers out of there. And then uh, we can start on the rest. Um, I hope, uh, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching. I hope I'll, I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day. And, uh, bye!